Alright, hey YouTube, this is going to be my 2023 knife collection video. It has grown since the last time. I'll just try and cruise through this. Here we go. Got a buck 110 with thumb stud. Nothing special. Got an upgraded buck 110. I think it's G10. And then it's got S35. V blade, boss heat treat. I got a second gen H3, which is like a DLC coated leak. Kershaw free fall. Nice beater knife. Nice deep carry pocket clip. Kershaw knockout or um, brawler, excuse me. Uh, Kershaw avalanche. Little discontinued Kidania design, G10, S60V, USA made, tip up carry. My Clash. Um, I kind of told the story about this. This is a USA made Clash. Got it in a random box at one of the Kershaw warehouse sales. Kershaw Storm 2. That's an old knife. I was looking for this one for quite a while. So this is the Blade HQ uh, Quaken. It's got the copper and the shred carbon fiber. Found this on eBay eh, a few months back. Happy to have it. Got a master op knife, uh, Boker plus uh, Brad Zinker. S35VN, um, Micarta, and, or maybe G10, not sure, and uh, titanium. So it's a, I got, I wear like extra, extra L, X to large gloves. So you can see it's like a three finger, finger knife. It's a Blade HQ exclusive. Uh, Booker Plus, so this is another Brad Zinker. A lot of his knives are thin like this. Um, the previous one was Mass Drops, just wider, uh, nicer in the hand version of it. So, like many Blade HQ exclusives, J J G G10 over Titanium. And this one has M390. Another Blade HQ exclusive, this is a Pilar. Carbon fiber, S35 VN. Another mass drop knife. So this is um, Bob Trizula, S35 VN. A little bit of rust in there. Take care of that with some flits. Montiago, Montiago Knife Company, MKM, um, Trizula, Blade HQ exclusive, so Micarta, Micarta, um, Titanium, it's M390, this is another MKM, so it's a Lucas Burnley design, M390, Got this one from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. This was one of their exclusives. Like this one quite a bit. A Fox Mini. It has a Fox Mini. This was Blade HQ exclusive. M390. 
baby core. Um, Benchmade HK Nitro Blitz. It's an assisted knife. I think this one was in like 154 or something like that. It's just been acid stone wash and then I put some uh, Benchmade-esque titanium or flytanium uh, thumb studs in it. There's another Benchmade HK. This is the Mini Entourage, I believe. So D2 on that one. And then I should have Benchmade uh, Park Rise clips on that. So one of my only launches. So this will launch three. But this one has S35VN. And then it's got an MXG DPRI pod clip. My blurs, I have the uh, Tanto combo blade. I've got the glass breaker. See that? Combo blade. I got the green BDZ1. Tanto. I got the purple BDZ1 Tanto. MXG clips on all those. I have the S30V blur. So, and then the big daddy of them all, this is the Sprint. So gray. Um, anodized aluminum and M4 blade steel. This came out like two years ago. Really nice. Blade HQ Skyline. Carbon fiber. DLC blade. S30V. It's the OD1. Lee Williams design with the kick stop. Acid stone wash by me. I've had this one for quite a few years. This would basically be my first knife, not this one in particular, but this was the knife that I bought when I visited a sporty goods store and bought one when I first got my license. So blackout. Dividend House of Blades. Black wash S35 BM. Chive, so this is the H3 Chive. This is the Damascus Shallot or Damascus Carbon Fiber Leak, excuse me. This is like one of the most recent ones I picked up. MXG clip on that. I think this was a Knife Center or Knife uh, Works exclusive. It's orange and black wash. It's S35VN. I uh, can't remember if this was Knife Center or Knife Works, but this is a titanium 20CV random leak. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, carbon fiber, 154 cm. Uh, black wash, composite blade, 14C28N D2. My Franken leak. So this is a random leak S30V blade on G10 handles. It was a blade replacement yeah, probably four or five years ago. This is how that knife started. This is a S30V G10 leak. And this one came out in 2006.
Got my rainbow leak. This one came out in 2005. And then rounding out that case, I got the H3 leak. So that's the first case. Moving on to the bigger case. Continuing with the Ken Onion designs. This is a shallot. And this is a Daniel Defense shallot. Lunch clip. Got Damascus shallot. Got the trimmer. Discontinued Kershaw. Got the Turbulence. USA made. Tim Galian design. Random Task 2. Canonian design, four way pocket clip, or three way pocket clip. A rake. Another composite blade. Tim Galen design. These are my knockouts. So, Gen 1, regular knockout. MXG clip. Um, the first M390, or the first one I got, M390, the blue, and then I got the, uh, the zero tolerance knockout, is what I call it, so it's a carbon fiber with a M390 blade. So this was a Sprint also. That and the Sprint um, blur came out like right after each other. M390 um, Link. MXG clip on that one. House of Blades Link. Like the Dividend, it just has a black wash blade with uh, S35VN and then some upgrades in the handle, deep carry pocket clip, backspacer. Uh, another Kershaw, this little discontinued one that I found. So this is the, I think it's the RJ Martin Groove. Just really like the aesthetic of this one. Pretty cool. But now we're moving into some spider codes. So from the specialty series, I got the Gale Bradley 2. It's an M4. And this is the second generation of it. There you go. MXG clock clip. Got the Brower. S30V. Reeve lock. Really nice. Got the Manix 2 lightweight S110V. If you've seen my other videos, um, primarily what I've been picking up lately is Spider Co's. The Sprint Manix 2 S90V, Barold uh, G10. And in this one, I have um, a flitanium aluminum ball cage. I have a reduced power spring and a um, ceramic ball in there. So this one's really light to open. Quite nice. Now this was a newer one. So this was a Smoky Mountain Knife Works Jungle Fat Carbon Fiber. So 
put an M4 on that one. MXG clip. Oh, these are glow-in-the-dark resin. Um, carbon fiber, glow-in-the-dark resin backspacers that you can find on eBay. Quite nice. I like them. Uh, this was a DLT exclusive. Got this one from the Apostle P on YouTube. He does Night Tales every Thursday. So S90V olive handle. Have a flytanium stopper in there, and then just a MXG pocket clip. Really nice. And then this was the um, canvas micarta, the newer canvas micarta crewwear version of the PM2. I had some uh, regular handles from a parts um, PM2 that I had, and I just put it on this handle so I could put some shred carbon fiber titanium scales on it. And then I just got some black hardware. Uh, Spiderco smock. S30V. This has got some aftermarket hardware. I can't remember um, the company, but it's got a deep carry pod clip and some blasted hardware. Spiderco smock. There's a blades we love, or blade skills um, scale. And over travel, got an MXG deep carry pocket clip, and then I got some new uh, bearings for this to help it uh, flip better, and it does for sure. A couple of my um, PM3s or para threes. This was a nice Knife Works exclusive with the green and the 204P. Happy to get this one. There's a Lynch clip. I've got the Maximet PM Para 3. This is my first one. So raindrop, titanium, Maximet. Another MXG clip, or excuse me, Lynch clip. One more Kershaw here. Got an old auto. Another uh, RJ. RJ Martin design. It's called the Rogue. This came out well before the launches. Got the Kershaw Lahar. It's just the only VG VG10 um, Kershaw I got. We're even over the groove. So this is a Knife Works Contigo. Osborne design M390. Blade HQ knockout on some uh, Flytanium Slate Blue, the 20 CV. Um, I think this is just the, so as far as the blade, the liners, and the pocket clips, the only thing remaining from the original. Got a carbon fiber backspacer and then black hardware. And some just uh, regular raw titanium thumb studs. Benchmade Mini um, Griptilian Hollow Ground Tumbled um, eBay Bug Out Clip. It's my full size Griptilian, or one of them. Hollow Ground 154CM. And then I have a Lynch style clip on there. Kershaw, or Benchmade Super Freak M4 that has a proper Lynch clip. Blade HQ 940 with some titanium scales. M4 blade steel. MXG clip. Knifeworks 940, Blue and Black G10, 20 CV, uh, Bug Out Clip, Knifeworks 51 Morpho, this 
So the exclusive part was the handles. A couple cold steels. I got the Recon one. This is a Canadian version with a satin blade. Put a sharpening choil in it. A little bit of a finger choil. And then I got a eBay deep carry pocket clip. So I changed the pocket clip and the thumb studs on this. It's really nice to have. Got the tough light. Nice box opener. My Chavez Redencion. I think this is a Blade HQ exclusive. Not sure. But this is like the first gen. The newer ones have the screws that come in from the top. These ones came in from the bottom. This is a um, Hogue EX01, I think. And they're layered G10. Acid Stone Wash by me. Tell the autos by the black clip. My favorite mass drop knife. It's a Kirby Lambert. Arctic fat carbon fiber. Originally, this was uh, anodized blue. I just uh, stripped it off and then uh, tumbled it. I think it looks a lot nicer that way. So there's the drop logo. And then this RWL. RWL 34 blade steel. Um, regular sized uh, sheepdog. So 154cm Kaiser. Got the hole instead of the flipper. Quite like that. Blade HQ CVV Elementum. This one is in yeah, S thirty five BM. Another Spider Co. Sage five compression. So mint green handle. Um, it's not DLC. It's like. T, 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 C, I don't remember, but, um, this one's fantastic. So, Sage 5 compared to Para 3. Specifically this version. Really nice. I was able to get this one. Lucky to get this one. A couple of Microtechs. So, this is my... Blade Show West 2018 Microtech M390 Bayonet Blade. This was the first Microtech I ever bought. So this is an LMAX Tanto Gray 2017. And then the big end Combat Truidon Bounty Hunter Edition. 2017 um, GTC 055 anodized by me Les George 920 Anodized by me. A Sinkovich 452 carbon fiber. Anodized by me. Tingalian 804. 
or Todd Rexford 804, excuse me, 20, 20 CB. This is an 801 heavily modified by me. Dual tone anodization. An acid stone wash blade. And make sheet pocket clips, new standoffs. Yeah, you can see the dual color better under there. There's another dual color anodization. It's 0392 black. It's like modeled after the Hinder Eclipse. 620 carbon fiber. Ernest Emerson design. One's an M390. 562 carbon fiber. That's a stone wash. That was in 204P. CT350. CT550. And these are with Aramis from eBay uh, scales. This one's G10. And then the 560 has the Aramis carbon fiber. Oh, nice. Uh, the rest of the knives, just go through real quick. So, one more leak that I have. I have the uh, copper leak still in the vacuum pack. Got a couple of special Microtex. This one came with the um, silver coin in 2019, Blade Show West. And this is a black. Spartan Edge, it's been on another video. UTX 85. You can see the marks there. And then this one was a show special. So the UTX 85 Dual Edge Blade Show West 2019, 23-25. You can see that one. It's red. And then the big kicker is the scale. So I'll just go ahead and take this one out. The Blade Show West 2019. 204P. That's a nice one. I got some uh, like Velcro pouches that I keep some other stuff in, but to just enter this one, this is a, I think it was a Knife Works, or maybe Smoky Mountain, not sure, but this is an exclusive, so it's a big pivot, 20.5 on carbon fiber, and uh, 3V blade steel. I'm happy to have this one. Lynch clip on this. Been carrying that one a lot lately. So in one of my Velcro pouches, I have some more PM2s. So this was a recent um, Sprint or exclusive. It was just a, like a wholesaler. So teal with S90V. Got my S110V. Titanium skills. The first.
Burst PM2. This is just an S30, S30VN. This was a Digicam version. PM3s, a couple more of those. This was a DLT exclusive. And originally it came in this format. Black blade, purple handle. But I'll customize this one. Acid stone wash. Flitanium micarta scales. Flitanium hardware glow. Lanyard delete and a lynch clip. And then the original, its original format, all black hardware, black blade with a splatter lynch clip. Manix 2XL, this one's been acid stone washed. Um, Phytanium cage. Spiderco Subvert, had this one for quite a few years. Black Snow uh, design. But this year recently they came out with the uh, Sprint version of it. So I picked that up. Carbon fiber and 20 CV. Nice to have. Uh, man bug in K390. Blade HQ Shaman. Micarta M4 Blackout Blade. Did a nub delete on that. More leak. This is a recent one. So this is my first knife in the Magna Cut. This is this is available on a lot of websites. You can either get it in the silver blade or the black blade. Like general, the black blades are usually more expensive. Pretty cool. And this is a recent pickup. I've been wanting this for a while. Spider Co. Drunken. S90V. Milled titanium. Sinkovich design. Okay, so that's that case. Then we've got this case. This is a lot of my Spider Co. lightweights. So an Endura with S30V. I think this was just a wholesaler exclusive. K390 Endura. K390 Endella. S35 VN um, Resilience Nice big boy S35 VN Tenacious Acid Stonewash Fitinium Carbon Fiber Two rat ones, so this was the D2 rat one, the Lynch style clip, and this was a I think Knife Works exclusive. So D2, but it's got micarta. Nice to have. Um. Random, uh, no, 
I can't remember what this one's called, but it's Kershaw toolbox knife. Keep wee hot bits in it. Ace Biblio Flipper with G10 and M390. It's a long video. Smoky Mountain Knife Works Biblio with the uh, Arctic Fat Carbon. Again, with the M390. Benchmade, uh, can't even remember the name of it. It's a slip joint. Last leak, mean it. Uh, teal leak. And this was a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. This is a Beyond EDC Night Horse. Nice big size knife. Nice deep carry pocket clip. And this one is in 14C28N. So, nice serviceable steel. Last case. Sheepdog XL. Modified with a opening hole. Behind me, ZT200 MXG clip, it's the same clip that's on the, the launch. 301, custom handled by me. So nice to have. Um, Doug Ritter, Griptilian, when they were actually still Griptilian, and this has knife nice shipped free micarta handles, which I reshaped. Couple cold steels, AD10. Formax Italian, Bongiorno, we've got the uh, Audacious Concept Speed, so I got the full, I got the regular size, I got the XL, and here's the Mini Sheepdog, the Vin Vinland Damage Steel and Titanium. My Sabenza, my Star Benza, Wilson Combat. The MXG clip. There you go. This one was a random pickup, so this is like a Knife Center or something like that. It's a, it's a current production, it's like fastball or something. So it's a 720 Ti and S30V. Nice upgrade. So it's titanium and, and uh, 20 CV. Or S35. Nice upgrade. And then one last uh, cold steel. Got the frenzy. This big knife, S35 VM. I think that is everything. Just the cold, the um, 
fixed blades I'd like to show. So this is the uh, Topps Feelcraft my camp knife. I have a shock cord on my fire steel. And that is it. Long video, really long video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.